Hello and welcome. I hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. And you join me here back on Farming Simulator. And the harvest is going to be underway. Unfortunately, that car's decided to get in my way and I'm driving on the crops. Luckily enough, crop, destru crop, destru crop destruction is turned off for that reason. Uh, connect that I'm blocking up traffic I know they just have to wait yeah stop beeping otherwise I'm gonna leave gonna hold it up even longer now is that both PTOs attached I hope so now that's your fault for getting too close to a combine when it's trying to yep that's your own faults for being idiots he says and he's gonna come filing around this corner right okay that's um just to make sure it is working yep now it's full swath on or off soon find out uh f1 uh fold enable store straw oh, i won't bother along here because this it's a bit of a nightmare because there's traffic running along here. I'll just do this as like a head land so then the combine doesn't get stuck up in traffic once I hire the driver. I could drive it myself and I may even do that but let's get what I'll do is enable straw swath on the smaller fields and then now which way do I want to go I'm gonna go along the road first and should min minimize destruction to a point I say hope Seems a bit of a waste going backwards all the way. Right. Okay. Cool beans. Let's swing it round. And hire the driver now. And hopefully he'll set off on his way. Yep. Yeah, cool. Oh, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. And just... Uh, there we go. Rehire driver. It's on a smaller fields like this one. I I can go and get some straw. I know we've got a bit in the um, silo, but you can never have enough straw, especially as the some um, cows and that eat it. Well, don't eat it, but they use up a lot of it. Right, cool. He's done. I'll leave this tanker or truck here. I need to go... It's been a while, admittedly. Now, where do we want to leave this? Is it out of the way? We can park this over here. Just off the side of the road. Hopefully it won't get in the way of anything. Shouldn't do here. Uh, I will turn the hazards off. I'll turn the beacons off because it's not really moving. Turn the engine off. Right, cool beans. That's fine there. Um, what have we got here? Oh, uh, tell you what you can do in a bit. You'll, I'll get you to. Um, I'll get that one to start. Um, forgotten what it's called. completely forgotten left come gone out my head cutting up all the straws all this um stubble and stuff they come back to me when i'm not thinking about it uh can go off now it's going well let's find a tractor wonder if this john deere is going to be powerful enough mind you saying that i've already got this vent 
attached to the loader. So I might as well use the fence. Uh, let's detach PTO. Detach hoses. I'm trying to detach hoses. Why won't you let me detach the hoses? Uh, that's a bit odd. Come on, detach the PTO. Still coming up as a suggestion. I don't see it anywhere. It won't even let me in attach the. Well, that seems legit, doesn't it? Let's try to move it forward a bit and see what that makes any difference. Um, nope. Oh. The cables are disconnected now. Cool. There we go. Maybe I wasn't tapping it hard enough for. Let's see. Just to mix things up, let's quickly give this a quick wash because I just noticed this is a bit dirty. I have been using it, so. Washing it only to make it dirty again seems silly, doesn't it? But there you go. Just to avoid cross contamination and stuff, because I've been like carrying all sorts in this. So there we go. Let's see that. I'm leaving this over here for the time being. I can come off and. I think this can pull that. This isn't a huge John Deere. This is the smaller one, I think, if memory serves me right. The big one is the other one, which I think's got. Hang on, let's have a look. It's been such a while, I've forgotten how many John Deere's. Right, this is the fence. This is small John Deere. This is the large John Deere. Right, I use this big one to pull that other trailer. So I think this is going to have a bit more power and more oomph to pull it. I suspect my combine's probably filled up by now. So. Right, okay. Oh yeah, it's quick press to put the PTO on and a long hold we've got. So this is full. And it's in the grain. Seems legit. Right, uh, where's this? Let's fire this up. I'm going to have to drive in the grain, peeps. Sorry. Um, right. Whereabouts is the combine? I can't look around all the way. Uh, I'm guessing by the swath, it should be down here. Unless it's done something bizarre. No, let's get off the swath quickly. And let's go to cheat cam. I know I'm driving in the crops, but we've got no choice. AI kind of stopped in an unusual place. AI for the win. make a great picture I'll take another picture at some point uh, do, do, do. Uh, 
let's take a picture here. Free drives off. There we go. That could be a backup picture if I don't get a decent picture. Mind you, I'm in the green, so it's not really a decent picture if you think about it, is it? Just thinking about it now. Jeez, look at the size of that lump he's left behind, a lump of swath. Or straw. I've forgotten how airy fairy the um the steering on this is compared to the American truck or you truck it's just it's night and day. You get no real response out of this at all. Um the engine can go off because my boys were burning diesel that we don't need to burn. Um and I've got a re that again because it's been dirt. That's better. Right, okay. Uh, tab, tab, tab. We were in the John Deere over here, I think. This one. Yep. Yeah. I'll start collecting straw in the meantime or interim between fill. Actually, that's fortuitous what we've done here because we've got a perfect little way we can turn into this field now. Right, okay. Uh, I've got to sign more keys. Um, B and B. Hopefully, I say hopefully, to set up right so I can pick up. Yeah, there we go, some straw. I won't do this on a larger field because it just take too long. On a smaller field, it's not too much of a hardship to do this. It's been a while since we played this game, or I've played this game, admittedly. I kind of lost interest in it, in a sense, this game. I, it's, I've just did not never been in the mood to play it. That and the fact that I haven't really been on my computer much anyway. Um, I spent all my money building the computer and hardly ever on it. Um... I've just been kicking back. These people don't watch any of my other stuff. I've just been kicking back watching um, stuff on you, not YouTube, but so much, but um, Amazon mainly. And working, if not working, looking at stuff. If not, um, one thing I did do that took me a few days to. I'm not. That's not my field. Um, I I bought and built an Ori. Now you might be wondering what an Ori is. I shall explain. But first of all, this I know this isn't my land. There we go. Right, hang on. Let me just switch the engine off and let's go and check out that dude. The combine. And then. He's full again. Right, okay. It takes long to fill that. Let's not hit the John Deere. Yeah, this steering is com whoa, completely different to what I'm used to. Yeah, so going back to what I was saying, an Ori is a model solar system, in a sense, made from brass. Um, now, new, brand new, they cost 400 quid. Um, but I managed to find one, basically, because years back, there was... Um, let's get out the cab, really, so I can see what I'm doing. Years back, um, 
there was magazines saying build your own solar system and that's what it comes from um now back in the day when it was out um i really wanted to get it but it's not like at the time when the again this was when my mum was still alive she said oh no you're going to be paying four times five times what the thing's worth just to build it because each copy is going to cost like 5.99 9.99 or whatever and it gets ridiculous towards the end so i never bothered um but however people out there obviously have bought the copies um i'll leave this in the middle of there if i leave it sort of like in between the rows it won't get in my way there we go i'll leave it there don't hit me with the pipe and let's go back to the john deere i could jump out and run but i'll just get to it uh where are you That's going to be a bit of a mammoth hill to climb. wonder if that picks all that up. I can't turn my head. It won't let me turn my head. There we go. I don't think it's picked it all up. Right, I'll have to come back and grab some of that. That's all anyway. Right, cool. I'll go back to the uh, main farm. Tractors are ahead. Yeah, me driving. Driving with a lead foot, as per usual. Um, yeah, go. Yeah, so it's a uh, model Ori. So basically, um, they were buying all the copies, all this, and then they've kept them. Like cl they've collected them all, all enough. To complete the sets and they've kept them now the company um used to make them we'll jump out the cab i can dump them here um i think they're um uh, euro 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 mass or euro something or other um um they've gone bankrupt uh they went into administration year two years ago i believe they used to make a lot of models um stuff from like star trek um star wars um like all the dc comic stuff as well i think um they had a load of stuff on the on the go at the same time um obviously over time people like not reading as much um magazines and stuff and not willing to buy the magazines for whatever reason um it kind of went into administration we need to get in there right where's the there it is just save a bit of time faffing around i'm just going to grab look at the keyboard still in my hand i don't want to put it down because it's going to take some time so if i just drive the keyboard all the way up to here. I hope look. no, I didn't catch him in time. Oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, so they went in, so you can't get the models anymore. We can still get them. You can get them on Amazon brand new for four hundred quid. And it's just the kit to build it. Um and then obviously in instructions. Um, but I wasn't willing to spend 400 quid on it because it just seems a lot of money just for well a functioning ornament in a sense um, it just seemed a lot of money and I didn't think it's worth paying that sort of money for it so I went on a good old eBay and I looked about and there's people that obviously through the years when it was a um, an issued magazine he's missed a bit the gear i have to come back to that then. Precious crop you're missing, mate. Uh, 
uh, yeah, they've in their wisdom they bought the magazines to complete the whole set. And there was two sets they released. There was another one that was just a, they called it the Mini Orbiter. Um, so it was just the sun and the earth and the moon. Um, which you could also get. It was a bit, uh, I think, are even rarer than the one that I've got. Because um, the prices people are charging for them, the complete set for that, and the model itself is like twice. It's like 600, 700 quid. Oh, I don't know why I'm driving this back up. Leave it there. It's because it was a John Deere and I just jumped in it. Right, uh, I need... Where's it gone? Where did I leave it? John Deere, I was in it. Here. Go back to the field. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so that was stupid amounts of money. It's got even less planets on it. Um, but I guess because it was a rarer thing, not many one, many people collected that edition, and there's not as many of the models available. They've seen fit to just charge whatever they like. Um, but anyway, I looked about uh, several people selling the whole complete issues. Um, people, some people are charging sort of like three hundred quid for the whole lot, uh, four hundred quid for the whole lot. Uh, I came across one dude that was. Um, uh, bear a sec. Let's lower that down. Uh, one guy that was um, selling the whole complete lot. Um, but he admitted some of the packaging was damaged and it had been sitting in his loft for a long time and some of the parts were less than pristine. Is that collectible? I don't think it did. I'll come back to that if it didn't. Um, so he'd greatly reduced it down and he just wanted it gone. So he was charging like 150 for the whole kit and another 40 quid for delivery. Um, so I didn't really want the magazines. I just wanted the kits, the kit parts and instructions. Um, so I said to him, look, you know, if you're willing if you, just to save you because he said to me it's going to take him a bit of time to find a box I said look if it and if it makes life easier all I want is the kit parts and the instructions I said you don't have to necessarily worry about the magazines as such or the rest of it um because I don't really want them I could give them to my brother he's into space and everything but I, I just wasn't I'm not that big of a space I just wanted to build the kit in a sense um is that full already wee wowie wowie okay it doesn't take long to fill this up um not down there next next left no next left so, so he said oh that's great uh, that helps me out a lot because now i don't have to worry a bigger box and it'd be less on packaging on delivery um so that saved me another 40 quid so he's um reduced it by 20 quid delivery um because of the weight because it's all brass it's all brass so um it's quite heavy I kind of regret doing that in a sense, although it did save me in 20 quid. Um, I kind of regret doing that because um, he couldn't get the actual instructions out of the magazines, I don't believe. Uh, so, 
there was issues along that side. There was an overview of how all the parts went together, um, which was helpful, but it wasn't uh, wasn't sort of like a step by step thing, um, which it, in hindsight now I wish I'd just told him to send the magazines, but um, it after a bit of sort of like looking on YouTube, good old YouTube, on um, other people building the kits. Um, I then got to sort of like um, Eagle Moss. That's the company. It was Eagle Moss. That's what it's called. Um, just came to me. Uh, did, 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 that's for the truck. Lucky enough, I'm behind the combine, so I should just sneak up on its. driver under the pipe he's missed a bit down here as well and over there look he's missed bits all over come on dude what are you, what are you up to um so yeah going back to the build side of it i managed to sort of like watch a couple of videos of how the first bits of it all went together and then once i'd watched a couple of those videos once you've got the main bits of it from the sun up to the earth, um, it was quite intricate. And then once you got past that, um, it was quite straightforward because it's rinse and repeat for the parts. The gears were pretty much all the same situation. It's two, one larger gear, uh, one in a spacer kind of, um, brass spacer that had a hole in it so you could put the rod into the planet um, two grub screws and two small uh, three group screws on each um, gear to hold them to the spacer and uh, two plastic washers um, and that's how pretty much 90% of the build is it's just a re repeat of that and a repeat of that he's missing that bit as well look idiot yeah it was rinse and repeat pretty much um and so once i built like two of them i then that it dawned on me and clicked on and i was like okay this is rinse and repeat and this is rinse and repeat i might as well just continue building it and that that right way until i run out of parts and literally that's what i did and i kept on building it the same way putting those two one large gear, two, um, one small gear, uh, one arm, because it had these like little copper arms that had one large gear and um, one small gear on it. And it was again, that would hold that part of it in. And it was just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat over and over again to get the last set of gears, which um, had one larger than the rest gear, and then just a, uh, just a blank. And that was it. So it was pretty straightforward. Uh, the downside of it was with the kit, because it obviously been kicking around in, I'd say, his loft or whatever. Where is the other John Deere? Is it here? Yeah. Cool. Um, it been kicking around in his loft. The uh, sun had got to some of it. Um, so, so. You could see where the sun had got to some part of the packaging and part of the um, couple of the copper, well, a couple of the brass elements were a bit disordered, uh, uh, discolored, I should say. Um, I did manage to sort of clean them up um, with some brass um, cleaner. But where it's been sat for so long, uh, let's uh, quickly turn it on and lower that. Where it had been sat for so long, um, the grease that they'd put in the fittings, I don't know if I'm picking it up, I'm picking it up, but I'm not straight on it, there we go, I do. Uh, the grease that they'd um, 
used to pick up the fittings or to put, put the grub screws in and stuff like that that had all like kind of dried out um, it was only little mounts but it was just it all gone dry um, so and also again where it had been sat um, in the actual packaging for like, ages I noticed where some of the threads had become on the grub screws had become quite discolored and green now it took a lot of gentle cleaning um um to sort of like get it to be okay even then i had trouble with um I, to be honest i think it was for the money that it is i don't think it was greatly engineered the grub screws were fine um aspects of the thread pitch on them it was just like um a problem with where they went into the, the little holding lugs and stuff like that um i had problems with and because they were so small i think they're 1.5 millimeter diameter well it took a 1.5 millimeter hex key anyway um it might have been just like a two to three millimeter actual grub screw um i think about three millimeter off the top of my head and the threads are very delicate on it i mean very delicate on the brass um and you want i was having to wind it in i could find it feel it biting um and then binding up and then it was like okay i've got to be careful here if i overdo it i'm going to strip the thread and unfortunately i did do that on one occasion lucky enough i have a set a tap and die set i was managed to retrieve the situation i was really angry at the time i could feel it get tight and i thought okay i'll back off a bit so i did and then wound in again and it's fine it, but then when i was putting the like the arm to hold the planet in and trying to tighten it up that's when it went tight but it didn't go tight enough for what i feel think was whole because the actual arm was still loose in fitting so i was just like okay we've got a problem here um so i tightened a bit more and then it just went clink and that was it and i was like yeah i knew it stripped it because then i could feel the 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 grub screw just spinning round and round inside the actual um hole i was like yeah this isn't gonna work now so with that i did um the pain of it was because the way the grub screw went into the fitting it was quite deep in this little hole and it all um so and because it stripped the thread you couldn't back it off in there so i had to take the arm that hold the planet out um then try and get the, the grub screw out and the only way it would go it wouldn't come back it would only go it would only go one f way so i had to tap it well I'd, um so i gently push it back through with the allen key um until it fell into the little um part of the arm and then tap and then just tap on the end of it to make it fall out the end of the hole where the uh, bar went in and uh, some of you guys might be like baffled by science what i mean but it it was a nightmare so then i had to get my tap and die set out and again that wasn't ideal because my sets the thread was close but it wasn't exactly the same pitch as what the grub screws were so i was like mm, i don't know if this is going to work i managed to get it to work luckily enough what i did do though just because i had a funny feeling if i didn't do it i'll get the room i'll turn that off um if i didn't i i put a bit of um just a little wedging of loctite in it 
um, on deer on. Um, just because I had a funny, because although it was in there, it wasn't in their type. And if I figured if I, problem is if I just left it uh, to it, its own devices, it would have just slowly just fallen back out or loosened off and then the arm would drop off. Especially as I found it was one, it was one of the heavier planets. I think it was um, Saturn. It was holding Saturn. Um, and that's quite a heavy planet um, on, the, on, the, on the actual kit. So I thought, like, yeah, I don't really want to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. So I put a little bit of Loctite in there just so then it would hold. Problem is, you can never take that back out again now. Because it's where you could, but you probably end up draw, destroying the threads again on the on the little arm. Um, so I don't really want to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. And the other problem is, though technically it says in the instructions to adjust the arms, just loosen off the spacer uh, grab the uh, spacer plates that hold the arms, and then it rotates around. I could see over time if you kept on doing that you're going to wreck the threads on the actual on that and then you won't and then they won't clamp onto the actual the main rod because basically it's um one main rod that spins round and then that pushes all the gears round um um from the motor and then it goes down through sets of gears it's quite an intricate thing so it took me, I took me eight hours, roughly. I spent one evening on it, four hours, and then the, and again that took, and then it took me. Well, I had problems with the the strip threading, so that took me a bit longer. Um, what other bits did you miss? Did you bits down, miss a bit down here? I'll get the bits so I can see what's up here. So it was a bit of a nightmare, but I managed to get it, um, uh, well, managed to build it in the end, um, after a lot of swearing and everything else. Um, but it's not, what I'll do is I'll put a link to it on the Amazon affiliate, but say, uh, well, not Amazon affiliate, sorry, just on the Amazon link. So you can see what kid is, you can get an idea of what I mean. Um, I was going to do a time lapse build on it. But I, again, it was just I thought, no, it means setting up the cameras. Things go wrong. It could, which I figured things might go wrong. It'd be hard to edit and stuff like that. So that's the reason I didn't do a time lapse on it. And there's plenty of time lapses out there anyway. So. Is that another bit? Isn't oh, that's a bit straw I missed. Oh, okay. Um. But you can get them on eBay. Um, if you type in uh, um, I forgot what it's called again now. Eagle Moss. Uh, um, uh, Eagle Moss Solar System. You'll get a load of listings for people that have collected the whole kit. Or collected uh, individual parts. And there are some decent prices out there. But you just got to bear in mind that they've probably done the same thing as the, well, the guy I got mine from. It's probably all been sat in a in someone's loft or storage somewhere so you're going to have to bear that in mind um, if you're thinking about getting one but if you do look around you can get them already completed um, takes the fun out of it because you can't build it but um, <coughs> excuse me but uh, there, uh, there, uh, that is an option let's quickly just start over here see if there's any more he's missed I don't think he has I don't believe he has. No, it's looking good. Right, cool. I'll leave it that there. And I'll leave this as an episode as well because I can see it's already dragging on quite 
Making sure we're not being waffling and waffling. Uh, which one do I need? This one? No. Not this one. Not that one. One of these John Deere's. Not that one. Not the fence. Not that one. Sorry guys, that one. Right, I'll leave it this as an episode. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the episode. If you did, uh, please feel free to like. Um, thank you for watching, by the way. Um, but if you did enjoy it, please feel free to like. Um, if you didn't enjoy it for any reason, any reason at all, please feel free to dislike. Please leave comments either way, um, just so then I'm aware and I can try to improve in future videos. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot, and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and see future episodes of this and or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTF then.